Welcome back to week number two of January Pantry Challenge, where we share with you all of the meals during the month of January that we cook from our pantry. Tonight is, I wanted something a little bit fancier tonight. I was really craving Marsala wine for some reason. That flavor of that like rich wine something. So I found some turkey breast down in the freezer from when we processed our turkeys. I cleaned that up a little bit. I sliced it kind of against the grain into medallions so it'll be more tender that way. Pounded them out, um, coated them with a light coating of uh, flour and black pepper. About a half a stick of butter in my pan. I fried them up. I tried to cook them only probably like three quarters of the way before I started adding the wine, the beef broth, and a little bit of heavy whipping cream. But I think I overcooked them just a little bit, or I cooked them a little further than I wanted to. So while I was waiting for my sauce to thicken, I pulled them out of the pan, put them in my bowl, reduced my sauce down, and then poured the sauce over top. And it tastes pretty amazing. <laughs> I had a bite off camera before I started turning this camera on. Awesome, tender, not overcooked. Maybe a little, no. I was gonna say a little more Marsala wine, but spot on, awesome. Most traditional dishes like this have mushrooms in them. We have some like freeze dried for dehydrated ones, but just plain. I didn't even want a side dish tonight. I just wanted this and this will probably feed me for lunch tomorrow as well. When I started the video, I started digging through the bottom freezer below our refrigerator upstairs because there's a lot of stuff in there that we we need to use. We kind of like, we put stuff in there and then we never open it again. So I found a beef roast in there. We'll probably cook that up tomorrow. I'll probably put it on in the, in the morning before work in the crock pot. We'll just let it cook slow all day. Something simple, I might just like dump a jar of our French onion soup in there. So today, today's Wednesday. Monday I had leftover pork chops. Yesterday I just had like a sandwich or something so I didn't film that. Tonight is this, tomorrow will be roast beef. Friday will probably be roast beef as well. Um, Saturday, Saturday I think my stepdad and mom are coming down to visit me to take me out to dinner for my birthday so I won't be filming that day. And then on Sunday, um, I'm having lunch with the kids, so I'm gonna invite the kids over. So I don't know for sure if I'm gonna film Sunday. I may, I may film some of the beginning and the cooking part, but then once the kids get here, I'm not gonna do like a post-cooking wrap-up talk about everything unless I do it after they leave, so.
So it is not a very exciting meal today. <laughs> I put this roast in the crock pot this morning about 8.30. I had to physically take my body to work today and work actually on site, um, which was good. Um, I have spent some time with one of my coworkers who I've been kind of working on training to teach somebody else to do what it is that I do because nobody else really knows. So that's been cool. We spent the whole day together going through like how to build servers and configure servers and firmware and raid configurations and all that kinds of geeky IT stuff. So that was cool. That was fun. Uh, I got off work, ran by the gym, did my workout for the day. And it's now 530 and I'm sitting down to a nice warm meal without a lot of diversity. <laughs> I'm basically having meat, onions, and some dinner rolls that were left over from Christmas with some butter on them. To cook the meat, um, I didn't sear it or anything. I just dropped it in the crock pot with some garlic and a can of our French onion soup that Rachel made. Gosh, I don't remember how long ago she made that. Last year, I think, 2022, sometime in 22. I think in the early spring when we were coming out of winter, some of our onions were going bad from the pantry downstairs in the basement. We wanted to use them, so we made up onion soup and it was awesome. We will definitely do that again. Yeah, with Rachel not here, I'm just like, I'm almost becoming carnivore diet. I mean, last night I had that turkey and I'm sure the sauce, Marsala wine is not necessarily carnivore, but not a lot of sides and not a lot of vegetables, but I've been feeling been feeling good. You guys still with me? We made it all the way to Sunday. The kids are on their way over here shortly to have lunch with me. We scheduled them. Um, we've been saying for years that we need to like, just set like this schedule of like, you know, once a month, all the kids are invited over, we're having lunch or we're having dinner together. So we actually scheduled it this year. Rachel sent calendar invites to all of the local kids in the area, our kids, I basically said, hey, every second or third Sunday of the month, you're coming over for dinner if you can make it. So we'll see how many make it over today. I know Nick's not feeling too well. He might not come. Grandbaby's supposed to be coming. Today's meal is Sloppy Joe's. That's all I'm making. Rachel made Sloppy Joe sauce late summer, early fall, I think, with the tomatoes from our garden, green peppers, onions, basically everything's in it, just like you would buy from the store, but it's homemade. And she made a lot. <laughs> I think there's probably like 20 some jars down there and we haven't even eaten it yet. So not a super fancy meal for the kids today. I wanted something simple. It's just me here, just the kids, no Rachel still. Other news, I do have 
final tentative date for Rachel's return, which will be in approximately two weeks. So I'm going to keep cooking. I'm going to keep sharing this with you guys. I ordered the beams that I need to do the basement floor right here where you guys are standing. So we're going to get on that this week and some other projects. I need to keep myself busy while she's gone. There's a lot of things to do, so I'm going to keep doing them and I'll try to take you guys along with me for as much of that as I can. And like I said, when the kids will be coming over pretty soon, so I'm not going to share sitting down and having dinner with you guys while the kids are here. I'm just going to enjoy my time, so I will end. Yeah, this turned out really good. Good job, Rachel. I'll end this video here for this week and we will pick up again next week with what's for dinner and whatever else it is that we got going on around here. So see you soon.